The first commitment of the Grant McCaslin era is in, and it is Darion Williams, forward from Nevada. Hey, how's it going, everybody? I am R.C. Maxfield, here for the Back to 12 podcast. If you were excited to have Darion Williams being in that scarlet and black, all I ask you to do is hit that like button. And in this video, we'll break down his game, get a couple quotes from a 24-7 article about why he went to Texas Tech and break down his game just a little bit more detail than I did in a video back on the channel. But let's jump into it. He announced on Twitter, did Mr. Williams, that he would be coming to Texas Tech. Tipton Edits and Tobias Bass also had the breaking news for Texas Tech Athletics. And again, when you look at this, this is a guy that, I mean, shoot, I, I have talked about quite a bit. Um, on the channel in terms of a guy that I really liked. He was the Mountain West Rookie of the Year out there last year. 6'6", 215. Kind of reminds me again of a bigger Kyler Edwards when it comes down to it. A guy that is good off the catch and shoot. Saw 39% off of catch and shoot opportunities. Thought 35.5% from three off the dribble, right? When you look at what he does really well defensively, he uses his length and his strength. He can do a lot of things that probably guys his size in terms of height probably wouldn't be doing. Just because he is 215, I don't feel as bad about him guarding a four. He's versatile. He can guard a point guard as well. I really like the potential fit for Williams in a Grant McCaslin type scheme. And when you look at what he could do in terms of, hey, is he going to be a primary ball handler? I don't know that, but I would think you'd feel comfortable with it, right? He's got that point forward type quality, and I think he will run some certain sets for Texas Tech and be a point forward for some regards for certain sets for the Red Raiders at times. Do I think he's going to do it long term? I don't, but I think he's a better off the ball guy that can be a primary bottle handler at times, but I really like him as a catch and shoot guy running around, creating space, being that guy after maybe a Pop Isaacs dribble penetration play gets to the free throw line, Pop gets stuck out to the corner. There's Darian Williams. He shoots lights out on catch and shoot opportunities, and he's a really, really good cutter as well. I just really like the fit with him. And there's a lot of reasons to like Darion Williams as well. Uh, Darion Williams had this to say about himself. The biggest thing I bring is I'm a winner. I'll do anything it takes to win. I'll do all the little things throughout the game that give the team the best opportunity to win, whether that is for me to score, rebound, defend, pass. I'll do whatever it takes. I don't care about the personal stats. I'm coming to Texas Tech to try and win Big 12 championships and compete for national championships. Now, he will have three years of eligibility remaining, and I like the fit, as I've mentioned a couple times already in here. Now, Las Vegas, Nevada, knows pop, played together a little bit, not too much though, but they know each other, right? And so I think that that's a big deal coming in and trying to find a seamless fit. Now, this is from Eric Bosi of 24-7 in terms of what Grant McCaslin's message was to drive Williams home to come to the 806. Coach McCaslin kept it real with me. For the first time we talked, Williams told 24-7. Plus, being able to play with guys who are all about winning and trying to win championships is what I was looking for. I believe the coaches they have coming in will be in the gym with me and are committed to making the, me the best player that I can be. There's something special building in Lubbock and with unbelievable fan support they got and the players I want to be alongside and learning from great coaching, I'm excited to be a part of it. Again, Freshman player of the year last year in the Mountain West. And I'll have the link below to have more quotes from this 24-7 article down below in the description. But I wanted to make sure you all heard them. Because again, this is the first commitment in the Grant McCaslin era. And if you were excited about Darion Williams, simply like the video. That's all I asked. I asked you a couple minutes ago. Just do it right now here too. And I kind of want to go through my thoughts on this and where I think he fits in scheme-wise currently with the Red Raiders. And you kind of look at what Texas Tech has right now in terms of the current roster. And, I mean, it's one of those deals where I'm very premature on this. I understand that. But I just kind of want to talk about what we know for certain right now. We know Pop is coming back. We know Robert Jennings is coming back. We have a strong inkling that K. Ron Lindsay is going to be in the red and black. And as it stands right now, Drew Steffi is still committed with all of his stuff on Twitter, right? You add Darion Williams. I like the potential 
foursome of Pop, Robert Jennings, and K-Ron Lindsey. I like that because here's the thing. People are asking for a big. I don't know if Texas Tech is going to get one. I, I really don't in terms of the traditional type big. I think it would be great to have, but I don't think it's a necessity. I think Texas Tech is going to want to switch everything. And with that rotation, obviously you need one more guy. You're not playing four on five. But I like what you have there, right? You let Pop lead the way. Go get another two guard somewhere. And there's potentially one on campus right now. And Chance McMillan that's visiting. Maybe he fits this role, right? Anyway, getting ahead of myself potentially. Where Darion comes in in all of this is he can play with anyone and can play four positions. That makes him so versatile on both ends, but specifically on the offensive end because we've seen Pop play well off the ball. I think Darion can run the offense for stretches if you need him to in certain sets. I also think Darion can play well off the ball, not only at the two position, three position, but also at the four position. He's a bigger guard hybrid forward. I wouldn't call him necessarily a wing. It's more of he's a hybrid between a guard and a forward because of his size and build, right? So I really like what he can do there. Now, it's not all, you know, great. He turns the ball over a little bit, but hey, he was a freshman, right? And he proved that when you play him in a pretty damn good league, people are going to say, oh, he's from the Mountain West. It can't be that good of a league. It had three teams make the NCAA tournament, and one of them went to the Final Four, okay? So like, obviously, there's some pretty good teams out there. And he played all 18 games as a true freshman out at Nevada for a really good coach, I might add, who knows how to win basketball games. And they did a very solid job. Nevada was one of those teams that kind of got snubbed, remember, around the big dance time. So he was a guy that started for them for all of their conference games as a true freshman, did a bunch of things, really good in transition. And I think the biggest thing I can say about his game is he plays at his own pace and knows his game better than anybody. And that's a really good trait to have as a 19 going into your 20-year-old season in college, right? He knows he's a good cutter. He knows he's a good catch-and-shoot guy. He doesn't try and do too much in terms of speeding up the game. If there's a transition opportunity, he'll take it. But he plays at his own pace. He gets to his spots. He knows how to play well off the pick and roll. And if you've watched any of my videos on this channel, you know one thing that Grant McCaslin is targeting in the transfer portal. Guys that are really good in the pick and roll. And Darion Williams feels that to a T. He is one of those guys. And he can do it on both ends. He's a good screener. He can do it off the ball. He can be the primary ball handler guy. He can be the guy finding space off the pick and roll that isn't necessarily in the set itself that's playing off ball. Good cutter. Plays well around the glass as well. Again, seven and a half rebounds. As a true freshman, for a guy that's 6'6", 215, he obviously knows how to position himself well, get to the basket. And the best part about him, when he does get a rebound, he can instantly start the break. And there's a lot of guys that can't do that. And I love that about his game. Again, let's recap it in terms of maybe the six or seven points that stand out to me about Darion Williams, who, again, I'm excited to have. been talking about him for about a week now on the channel. You can go back and listen to my other thoughts about him. Um in the prior videos, but and also if you want to check out that 24 7 article that I quoted, it will be in the description and in the comments below. Be sure to give them some love with some good, good info on the newest Red Raider. Again, Williams, Mountain West Conference Freshman of the Year, first Nevada program history freshman of the year, and he started all 18 games in conference. 7-7-3 seven, seven, as a true freshman, shot 35.7% from three, 39% as a catch-and-shoot guy. Plays at his own pace, as I said, and gets to his spots with regularity. Really good cutter. Stands at 6-6, six, six, can guard multiple positions, and is a primary ball handler for stretches. Really good passer, had 18% assist rate as a true freshman. Attacks the glass and really plays an inch or two taller than 6-6. Six, six. Um, can guard multiple positions, as I mentioned. Don't be surprised. I have this in my notes. If you hear him taking an official visit, damn it, that's over. He's a Red Raider. He committed to Texas Tech, and that is awesome to hear. I really like the potential fit with him alongside Pop, whether he's at the two spot or the three spot for the Red Raiders. And again, for a comp, because everybody seems to like a comp, watching the film of him, he reminds me of a little bit bigger in terms of height-wise, Kyler Edwards that attacks the glass a little bit more. So again, all I ask you guys to do is this. If you're excited about Darion Williams becoming the newest Texas Tech Red Raider and the first commitment of the Grant McCaslin era, simply like the video. I'm RC Maxfield. 
I'm here for the Back to 12 podcast channel, giving you daily updates all year long on Texas Tech men's basketball. I don't know why you wouldn't hit that subscribe button.